Hey guys, welcome back to our last days. I've been doing some fights against Dogaldor to lower their war uh, strength, and I did a few fights. And with the help of uh, the war cap being raised again, they're just under the cap now, which is uh, pretty handy. And uh, I got I saw that the Lord of Lothlorien was about to attack this place, so I came up here, thought I'd help out. I'm not even sure if I could help out, but we're going to find out um, in this siege against the outpost. Dogaldor hasn't been sieged at all, but the outpost has, so we're going to see how that goes. I haven't really looked up in this area much. I can be called to play a dwarf. I don't know, just having that little tiny like dwarfs just running around killing things. So I was actually, um, I was talking to Elrond as well, and I, I was asking him how the war's going, and that's actually sort of a way that you can tell who your current target is. So when I asked how the war against Dogaldor was going, they like he would say like, "Oh, we have a good chance of winning the war." Um, but when I asked how the war against Gundabad's going, he said that we have enemies close to that we're having to deal with first, and for every other faction, he would say that as well. So that's sort that's sort of a way to determine or find out which faction is your target so after we beat Dogaldor I'm guessing if I go talk to him again and ask about Gundabad they're going to become our targets or Isengard is so they're like the possible two next guys that's going to become targets I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Gundabad just because they're closer than Isengard is but I think it determines how close they are depending on their main faction uh, castle which they're pretty even in distance. Are uh, we attacking this place yet? Really? You're leaving? Are you actually serious? You motherfuckers. I need to go get food anyway. Oh, I got a new trait, Archery Captain. I'll have a look at that in a second, and you get food first though. Oh nice, you've got a lot of fish and dried meat. Lovely. Uh, reports, trait. Archery Captain, you developed an uncanny skill for the command of missile troops. Due to rigorous and specialised training, such, as tr such troops will Receive a health boost once per battle. Oh, that's actually that's actually really good. My archer's getting a little bit of a health boost. That is actually really handy. Uh, that's annoying that they left to not attack that place. I was sort of hoping we would attack. Mordor War Party, they're pretty far north. Oh, did they stop attacking because they went back over the limit? Motherfuckers. Is that actually what happened? That's annoying. Go kill these guys. These guys aren't even a threat. There's like 30 of them.
Okay, there's two of their armies. Shall we have a battle with them? Let me go see. Okay, no, I can't fight them. Never mind. Haven't got a. Uh, I don't get enough men at the start to. It's two. Wait, is that two Mordor war parties? Why is there so many Mordor war parties up here? I'll fight these guys. They're gonna come at us. Looks like they're moving. I think actually as well, I might go back to Madras and buy that armor for Elrond, the elven armor, or whatever is it, whatever it is. It's like ceremonial armor, and see what that's like. Because that might be handy. Because in these battles, I do like. I get, when I get hit, I take a little damage, but all that little damage adds up over time, and that's what kills me. So if I can get some better armor and stop most of them hits from even working on me, that would be really handy. Are they like just over that big peak at the top there? Or are they over that little like hill there? I can't really see where about I'm looking on the map, because my soldiers are blocking. Actually, I think, oh yeah, they're over that one there. Okay, so nothing too difficult by what I can see. Lots of infantry. Could be a troll still over the hill that's coming over. Is there a troll? No, I don't think so. Okay. Fire then. Well, they actually made it to the line. That's surprising. Usually, wild riders get destroyed. But the horse actually made it. What the hell's that guy holding? It's like a golden sword. He's dead now. Doesn't matter. Get a bit of a better angle for the archers to shoot at because that wasn't really a great angle. This one's much better. Much better. Here we go, this is a nice spot. Uh, come back one set infantry. Where are they? They're coming back over. There they are. There they are. Hello. God, the art, the the Imladris archers are good, but they run out of arrows way too quickly. Which I mean, it does make sense because if I had more arrows, like if I had double the amount of arrows I do now, 
I could like it, like how many men have I killed? 88, 90. Mainly just from arrow fire. Why are they running, you damn pussies? Let's get everyone charging. Let's uh, end this. We end it here, man. I'm surprised there haven't uh, been no trolls. Usually in Mordor War Parties, there's some trolls. Hello. Kill you. There you go. Give me a little stab. Stubby, 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 stubby. I think a problem, a problem that I've seen with a lot of the evil faction armies is that most of them, most of the armies made up of archers, which is why it is so easy. Like it's, it would still be easy if they had a lot more infantry, but it's so easy that because they have so many archers in their armies that even my men like pretty much one shot them with a sword. It's kind of bad, really. It's not very like the. It, I mean. It's not balanced very well. I think the trolls are meant to sort of balance it out a lot, but the trolls, again, like you can deal with them pretty quickly. And yeah, it just doesn't really work. I mean, you, there are like the stronger trolls, like Dogledore has some pretty strong trolls, and then Mordor has even stronger trolls. But it's like, like they might kill a few of my men, but it's still not worth. Like it's still. The factions aren't very balanced, they're troops. I mean, it makes sense, you know, I'm using like elven troops and stuff like that. They wouldn't, like orcs wouldn't be very com like, comparable to them. But still. Still. Got to be a bit more of a challenge. I mean, I could just like bump up all my settings to like the highest possible difficulty. But I'm not going to do that. If I can get another army to help me kill these guys, then I'll be good. But well, it's just getting that another army. God damn, we got cucked this episode. I thought it was going to be a siege. But the game cucked us. I'm gonna have to put their strength much further down. I mean, it is below it now, but only just again. Like all it would take is like them having like a single victory against a small army, and I'll probably put them over. Mordor's raising more places. They raised this place earlier, and now they just raised that place. Gondor is not gonna last very much longer. I mean, I like that um the plate like when you when you siege place, it raises it instead of conquers it. Or at least it does it for some places. Like Mordor was able to take Kerandros, Osgiliath, and uh, Pelagir, but all the others they're, they're like raising. I kind of like that because it, it it doesn't make factions like super strong by them having loads of land, and so that like, it doesn't give them loads of armies and stuff. Just 
Should I see if I can fight these guys? Well, I want to see if I can fight these guys again. Now Tarnos has been sieged. Holy shit. It's just, it's just they're on, they're, Mordor's just on a warpath. Battle after battle. And there still isn't a great number of men that's helped me here. Um, no. No, not not a good idea. If I killed that army, I'd take him down a couple hundred. Uh, war score. Actually, yeah, let me go talk to uh, Elrond. I went to go buy that armor, didn't I? Let's go talk to him then. Is he even here? He's not easy. I never know where he is. He always goes off, off on his own. Like the other three armies will stick together and then Elrond just goes off somewhere else. I don't know where he goes. I don't know where all the armies are actually. Where are they? What the hell? Are they off siege in a place? Oh, that place having a fight. No, we're gonna miss it. I didn't even know. Wonder if oh, I don't know. That's pretty far. Oh, and then they fucking are. Alright, we're gonna try and run for it. Never mind, they already done it. <laughs> well, there we go. Oh, fuck it. Oh, damn it. I wanted to fight that battle. Oh well. I have to make. I'll make sure that we see uh, the Dogal Door siege. Uh, where's our run? Uh, special item. Moss Finn. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Finn was Finn was seal. What is that? A sword. I don't know. Let's get the armor. Okay, so what's it? It's better. I mean, I don't really, I didn't really want to wear elven armor because my characters are Dunedain, so I wanted to wear the Dunedain stuff. But it's a, uh, I mean, it's not greatly better, but it does have a bit more, a bit more than what I currently have. And I think what I cut that piece is like pretty much the best Dunedain piece you can get. I'm probably wrong there, but I mean it's the best I've seen. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll wear the armor and see what it's like in a fight. See if it is any help at all. I kind of want to wait and see if Dogledore is going to be sieged at all again. I'm going to, buy, I'm going to need to buy more food actually, Let's turn around. I get rid of this damn sword, I don't need it anymore. So with them losing that castle or that outpost, how much did they go down? A little bit, not a lot. In score, okay. I thought they might have lost like a lot of war score if they lost the place or a uh, camp. I don't think this place is going to be siege yet. I was kind of hoping it would. But I don't think it will. Oh god. It's not good. 
So I might end it here. We didn't get much. We this was just really a battle episode. We had a few battles. I was hoping we could have got that siege in, but sadly I missed it. They did like they went off, and then I went off, and then they came back, and I didn't even notice they sieged it again. Hopefully next time, though, we'll see Dogledore be sieged and that destroyed. And then once that's gone, I'm guessing we will go after Gundabad, which should be quite quick considering they're below the limit already. So that should be a quite an easy mop up just to handle. And then we'll see from there. Things are speeding along though, they're speeding along quite quickly. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, I appreciate that a lot. And hope to see you guys again next time.